I am Ajiboye Adebayo, and I will be your chemistry teacher for this session. I will be taking you up on the topic gas law. Objectives. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to state the postulate of the kinetic molecular theory for gases, state Boyce's law, Charles' law, and solve some of the problems concerning the laws. Derive the gas equation from these two laws. State other laws such as Dalton's law of partial pressure, Avogadro's law, Graham's law of diffusion, and Gay-Lussac's law of combining volume. Use the kinetic molecular theory to explain Boyce's law and Charles' law. The kinetic molecular theory of gases. Two assumptions are made about gases in the kinetic theory. These are one, there is virtually no force of attraction between gas molecules. Two, gas molecules move independent of each other. These assumptions are only true for an ideal gas. An ideal gas is often referred to as a perfect gas. Real gases in general do not quite follow the assumption made for an ideal gas. They constitute what is called the kinetic molecular theory. They specifically deal with the gas molecules. The, these following six statements describe the behavior of an ideal gas. 1. A gas consists of small identical particles called molecules moving randomly in all directions, colliding with each other and also with the walls of the containing vessel. There is no force of attraction between the gas molecules. Number 3. Molecular collisions are perfectly elastic, that is, no energy is lost when molecules collide with each other or with the walls of their container. Number four, volume of gas molecule is negligible compared to the volume of their container. Five, the collision of gas molecules with their container, with, their, with the containing walls, give rise to what is called the gas pressure. Number six, the temperature of the gas is directly proportional to the average kinetic energy of the molecules. Boyce's law. Boyce's law states that at constant temperature, the volume of a given mass of gas is inversely proportional to the pressure. Boyce's law describes the relationship between the pressure and the volume of a gas at constant temperature. Mathematically, V varies inversely as P at constant temperature, where V equals your volume and P equals the pressure of the gas. V equals to K over P when you are changing the proportionality sign to constant, where K is the constant of proportionality. PV equals to K. Boyce's law can also be stated mathematically as P1 V1 equals to P2 V2. P1 is the pressure when gas volume is V1 and P2 is the pressure when gas volume is V2. The above implies that the product of the pressure and volume is always a constant. What this means is that as the gas pressure increases, the volume decreases and vice versa as long as the temperature is constant. Thank you. I'll see you soon. Welcome back. Now, we continue with where, from where we left. Now, we consider the equation in the form PV equals to K. Now, the graph you are seeing depicts the graph of, of Boyce's law. That is, when pressure is plotted against V, and you will see that kind of graph, or when P is plotted against 1 over V, you will see that is uh, a direct graph there, as you are seeing. Now, the above equation is mathematical representation of the alternative statement of Boyce's law. 
Therefore, the pressure of a given massacre is inversely proportional to the volume provided the temperature is constant. Then, how kinetic theory explains the Boyce law? According to the kinetic molecular theory of gas, an increase in pressure of the gas implies an increase in the number of molecular collision per unit area of the containing vessel. You will also recall that for a fixed mass of gas at constant temperature, the number and the average kinetic energy of the molecules remains constant for the number of molecular collision per unit area of the containing vessel to increase under a condition of the fixed mass and average kinetic energy of the gas of the gas molecule the area and therefore the volume of the containing vessel must decrease this implies that an increase in gas pressure is accompanied by a corresponding decrease in the gas volume the reverse of the above is true when the gas pressure is reduced at constant temperature so we can see the diagram that depicts the Boyce law charles law and the kelvin scale the term temperature is a measure of the degree of hotness or coldness of a body the celsius or centigrade scale is the most used temperature scale in scientific work the volume of matter generally increases with the increase with increasing temperature but the increase is most pronounced for gases so if you are converting temperature degree celsius to kelvin so you add 273 to the centigrade scale now charles law states that for a fixed mass of gas the volume is directly proportional to the absolute temperature provided the pressure remains constant mathematically we can see v varies at the temperature where v is the volume of gas and the temperature is the is the, uh, the t is the temperature in kelvin well we have it as v1 over t1 equals to v2 over t2 now we can all see the temperature uh, the graph that depicts charles law now how the how the kinetic theory explain the charles law now according to the kinetic molecular theory an increase in gas temperature leads to increase the average kinetic energy of the gas molecule this will result in a more random motion of the molecules for a fixed mass of gas the number of gas molecule is constant and at constant pressure of the gas the number of collisions per unit area of the containing vessel is also constant the only way for the pressure to remain constant despite the increase in the random motion and more collision of the particle with the walls of the container is for the area and therefore the volume of the container to increase this implies that an increase in the temperature of the gas at constant pressure leads to a corresponding increase in the gas volume meaning that as the temperature increases the volume increases because the faster molecules collide harder and push each other further apart in the alternative consider the case when the volume of a fixed mass of gas is kept constant and the temperature is increased at higher temperature the more random motion of the gas molecule will lead to a more molecular collision per unit area on the wall of the container and thus the gas and thus increase in the gas pressure thank you i'll see you soon welcome back we move on to the general gas equation a gas sample is described completely by four quantities the amount that is the amount the temperature the pressure and the volume according to Boyce law and charles law both pressure and temperature can affect the volume of the gas and according to Boyce law and according to Charles law from the equation from the from the equations given we find out that when both temperature and pressure change for a gas molecule V varies directly as T 
inversely as p and so we have generally we now have pv equals to kt meaning that pv over t equals to the constant for one mole of gas the constant of proportionality k in the general gas equation is the molar constant gas r and the general gas equation then reads as pv equals to rt for n number for n moles of gas the equation has the form pv equals to nrt therefore which we, which the pressure could be in atmosphere the volume could be in dmq and temperature can be in kelvin from the general gas equation then we can have that pv equals to nrt or p1v1 over t1 equals to p2v2 over t2 then we move on to the other gas law dalton's law of partial pressure dalton's law of partial pressure states that the total pressure exerted by a mixture of gases in a container is equal to the sum of the partial pressure of the gas present in the mixture provided no chemical reaction occur the partial pressure of a gas in a mixture is the pressure the gas will exert if it occupies the total volume of the mixture alone mathematically for a mixture of three gases a b c in a container p total will be equal to p a plus p b plus p c where p total is the total pressure of the mixture and p a p b p c are the partial pressure of a b and c respectively now we will now recall that pv equals to nrt which will now give that for pv for a it will give you nrt for gas b respectively in that order then and so we so that is related to the general gas equation so quickly we move on to the graham's law of diffusion the law states that at constant temperature and pressure the rate of diffusion of a gas is inversely proportional to the square root of its density. Mathematically, we we'll find out that the rate is proportional to the square root of 1 over d. And when you remove the proportionality sign and introduce a constant, you have your rate equals to k square root 1 over d. And so the first equation that is generated is your r1 over r2 equals to square root of d2 d1 where your R1 and your R2 are rates of the two gases and D2 and D1 are the density of the individual gases. And so by the time you solve for that, you find out that your rate is also related to the time of diffusion, which is the R1 over R2 equals to T2 over T1. And so when you compare molecular mass, density, time, and the rate, you find that the you can combine all of them together into one equation as rate 1 over rate 2 is equivalent is equal to t2 over t1 which is the time of flow or time of diffusion equals to square root of d2 over d1 equals to square root of m2 over m1 then Avogadro's law Avogadro's law says that equal volume of all gases at the same temperature and pressure contain the same number of molecules. Now, we find out that the law, Avogadro's law provides information on all number of molecules in a given volume of gas and allow for change over statement relating volume of gases to state, uh, relating to the number of molecules or to the number of molecules or moles. Now, consider this equation, hydrogen combined with chlorine to give you hydrogen chloride gas. It means that one mole or one volume of hydrogen reacts with one volume of chlorine gas to give two volumes. So when you apply the Avogadro's law, it means that one mole of hydrogen reacts with two moles, with one mole of chlorine gas to give two moles of HCl. Now it then means the application of this law as above has allowed for the establishment of formula for gases at zero degrees Celsius and 760 millimeter of mercury 22.4 dmq of any gas contain approximately 6.02 and times about 23 molecules that is one mole of the gas at zero degree and 760 mm are referred to as the stp which is called standard temperature and 
pressure. Lastly, the Lizard law of combining volume. This law states that when gases react, they do so in volume, which bear a simple ratio to another and to the other product if gaseous, provided temperature and pressure remains constant. Applying Avogadro's law, the Lizard's law can also be restated as follows. When gases react, they do so in volume, they do so in small whole number of molecules of reactant to produce small whole number of products, provided temperature and pressure remains constant. For example, when you look at the equations there, you find out that one volume of nitrogen three, reacts with three volumes of hydrogen to give two volumes of ammonia. In, in case of Avogadro's law, it means one mole of nitrogen gas react with three moles of hydrogen that to produce two moles of ammonia thank you